Hello, my friends! Impopable extreme maps. Very, very tough indeed. So what is going on? Well, first off, I have to give a little bit of a spoiler slash heads up slash I suck moment type of thing. I use... I think I only use one, but I use a continue on this map. And I think I could have I think I could have done it without a continue. But I didn't feel like having to go through that entire process again to have to do it all over again just so I can get back to that exact point. I think I could have easily done it without the $5,000 boost as well. I just would have, you know, I wish there was like a save or something that you could do so you could just go back and play this over again. And I think, by the way, the people who were saying that, like, no, there is, you don't even need a save. You could just restart the game or something and it just pop back. It doesn't work for me. So I don't even know if maybe that's like a new thing for me or a new update or what the heck happened, but it doesn't work for me. Yeah, I heard, well, basically what people t were telling me in the comments is if you ever lose, there's an easy fix to that. All you gotta do is, uh, like, go back to the home screen of, like, your iPad or iPhone or whatever the heck you use, your Android, and then you just jump get back at the game, and then all of a sudden it pops up back to where you were, so that's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, I think so, for sure. So yeah, I used a little, a little, used a little bit of cheater techniques. I used the uh, Dart Monkey Specialty Building, which realistically didn't help me out that much. I only used a couple Dart Monkeys. I used two Dart Monkeys. I, th I think only two or three Dart Monkeys the entire time. I got like eight free Dart Monkeys altogether. By the time you get to level 80, I got all those guys. No real point to using those in the late game. It was just early game helped me out a little bit, helped me in a farm a little bit, and that's really all I needed. And I uh, did, did pretty solid with it overall. And I think, you know what, this is one of the easier, the easier maps. Uh, you know, you got Plutonium Lab, Main Street, Main Street, Main Street, and uh, down the drain. Those are like the three hardest maps in my opinion. You know, I got a couple other close fourths and fifths and stuff, but I think the, actually, you know what, maybe this might be even easier than some of those other maps. It's just the fact that it costs $50 and you don't get to save ever at all. They don't even lie. So, yeah, I mean, they're a little bit tough. But the cool thing is, is you got every single balloon goes right through that middle there, and if you could just get a really solid defense right in the middle there, you're not going to have to worry about anything at all. That's pretty, it's pretty simple, right, guys? Yeah, absolutely. Also, spike factories are something that you can actually use on this map, unlike some of those really other stupid hard maps that are really, really difficult to use spike factories on, especially down the drain. Oh, my God, I'm so angry at it. So, yeah, I used a lot of bonuses to help me out, and then I also failed on this, so it made me feel like a little bit of a noob. But also, keep in mind, this was my first try on Main Street. This was not... I didn't have a bunch of practices, I didn't have a bunch of cool stuff that I was doing just over and over and over again to perfect my strategy. It was actually just my first try and I did this this swell. So I was actually pretty darn happy with my uh, with my, my stuffs. I also did use the monkey farmer, which yeah, he said uh, he's kind of like he's a pro monkey farmer, which normally he like shoots nanners all over the place, so if I wanted to I could also use him even more effectively. But I, I didn't want a huge, huge bonus to make you guys seem that I'm a super mega noob, so I wanted just to keep it as reasonable as possible. I used by the way, I only used a third tier Dart Monkey specialty building. I didn't use the fourth tier because I felt like the fourth tier was just too good. It was splody darts. And splody darts just seemed way too ridiculously overpowered. Just spams your zero dart monkeys, especially with your free dart monkey. You're gonna be rocking all the blues. And I was like, oh that's stupid, I don't wanna do that. I wanna make the game ridiculously easy. I just need a little bit of a bonus to help me out and uh, you know make the game a little bit more reasonably reasonably on my level, I suppose. And that's the way I felt like it. I felt like I I did a I felt like it was okay. So anyways, how are you guys doing? Are, are you guys doing okay on these maps? I'm just curious. Have you guys been able to beat these uh, extreme maps fairly easily or not quite as easily as you expected? Or, you know, you can beat them on hard probably pretty easily, but then once it comes to impoppable, they just get that much more hard? I feel like that's the issue for me. I could easily beat these guys on hard, no problem. I could be like, boop, hard, boom, take them down. Pretty darn easy. And then impoppable is just that new level of difficulty that just makes things... Well, that much more difficult. Everything is like 20% more expensive altogether. That's a pretty big change right there. 20% less towers, 20% less farms, which leads to less farms and less farms and less farms over time. So it's not just 20% harder. It's like a lot harder. It's a lot harder than that. At least that's the way I feel about it. So I just touched my forehead and I realized it's very slimy and like oily. I don't know why. I have like an oily forehead today. Why, why do I have an oily forehead? You guys ever get oily foreheads? I sure hope not. But as far as my strategy goes, what the heck did I do? Well, in the early game, I planned on mostly engineers. I got mostly engineers with sentry gunners. Of course, I got the two dart monkeys to start, uh, and then I just kind of sold them and just got rid of them because I, I felt like they were just kind of taking up space. And then eventually, I got uh, two spike factories. That was my next thing. I got those right around level 20 or so. Uh, and those those guys just helped you for building, stopped you from building thousands of sets of road spikes all over the place all the time. And then, after that, I decided, you know what, I need some glue gunners. So I got some glue gunners for level, 50, for level 20, 
8 for sure. For sure level 28, but I sadly enough did not get up the two one blue banners that I really wanted to. Anyways, here's where I lost. I lost in level 52, believe it or not. Yes, you guys get to see my little, uh... My little backwards screen part of my thing of a bob because guess what? That was Amanda did that. So I accidentally opened battles and look, whoops, doodle. So I was trying to figure it out. I was like, oh, you know, do I get to do it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work anymore. So I use the I usually continue 500 monkey money, I believe, and I built another balloon chipper really quick with the extra five thousand dollars that I had. Like I said, I think if I didn't do that, I could have easily beaten it with just a little bit more micro or something. I was just ex I was not expecting the balloon chipper not to suck up that Moab. I really was not expecting it at all. My uh, balloon chipper was on strong. So that wasn't the issue. He just skipped it. You know, he's popping up too much ceramics or something. Maybe even if I build two like low-level ceramic, so low-level uh, balloon chippers to pop those ceramics, the the other stronger balloon chipper probably would have sucked up the Moab, and I would have been all, totally fine. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We lost. We had to use the uh, cash injection. And an early, early farm. I was farming quite heavily, guys. I must say, I was just kind of like, I kind of want to have an easy late game on. Main Street, and the reason why I called it Mean Street earlier, by the way, is because there's a song by Van Halen. I think it's Van Halen that has that's called Mean Street. The only reason I know this is because I played Guitar Hero Van Halen, which is my favorite Guitar Hero. I think, believe it or not, Guitar Hero Three was a pretty darn sweet Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero Four kind of sucked. I didn't really like it, and. Van Halen was my favorite just because I really enjoyed all the songs on there and just. There was a very good amount of difficulty levels on all those songs. There were some easy ones, some medium ones, and some really, really hard ones, like Eruption and uh, Spanish Fly. I don't even know why I'm talking about Guitar Hero, but I am a pretty darn good Guitar Hero player. So just in case you guys were curious about my lifestyle and uh, what I used to do in my free time in the past, I was a very avid Guitar Hero player. And no, do I think I'm the best Guitar Hero player in the world? No. Do I think I'm a very good Guitar Hero player? Yeah, I think I'm pretty good. I, especially for how much I played. I really didn't play that much, and I think... By the time I was, bef I, I only had the game for like maybe four or five months, and I was already beating expert songs on Guitar Hero One with no like hammer-ons and stuff. Then when Guitar Hero Two came out, it was like a whole new level of holy crap, Ola. But I was end I ended up getting five stars in every single song before Guitar Hero Three came out, and I was like, all right, fine, I'm pretty darn sweet at this game. And then Guitar Hero Three, and then all of a sudden they changed the game with Through the Fire and Flames, and that was just that was ridiculous. That it was, it was I don't even know how to. I got four stars on it, but it was just, it was way too hard. I couldn't get five at all. I couldn't even get close to, to five. It was just solos up up the wazoo. Anyways, back to Mean Street. Main Street. Main Street. Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with me? Why do I keep calling it Mean Street? It just seems, it's like a Mean Street. You know, the balloons are being mean to you. That's why it's, it should be Mean Street. I'm calling it Mean Street. I just changed the name. You guys are right. Absolutely. It's definitely Mean Street. All right, so what's going on? Well, eventually, I was like, holy crap, I got a ton of money. I got four farms just... Rocking these balloons, slicing right through them. Moabs are no problem. I got enough balloon chippers. Let's get some roboplasmas for some extra pop power and balloon po and Moab pop power as well. Need a little bit of both. And by the way, I, I I noticed a couple people were kind of confused on what balloon pop power is and what Moab pop power is. There is a little bit of a difference, and I would like to explain it for you guys really quick, just in case you are curious at all. So just as an example, I think the best way to explain it is with an example. If you have a tack shooter, okay, and you get him up to a ring of fire. Now that ring of fire could pop like. Just imagine a hundred balloons per shot. So it can pop, you know, a thousand balloons with ten shots. But at the same time, if he goes next to a, if that Moab goes by that ring of fire, it's going to shoot ten times. It only hit the Moab ten times. So realistically, it's not a lot of Moab popping power. If it only hits the Moab ten times, they got a lot of they got a lot of health, right? Whereas a Super Monkey, which is about as expensive as a Ring of Fire, and just a zero zero Super Monkey, if that Super Monkey attacks the Moab. Uh, he shoots every single dart does one damage to the Moab, so he shoots so fast that every single dart does damage to the Moab. The Moab gets popped really, really quickly, and that's why Super Monkeys are really good versus Moabs. But they're not quite so great versus Blues. You can only have to pop one balloon per shot. So technically, the Ring of Fire has a lot of balloon popping power, and the Super Monkey has a lot of Moab popping power, because it shoots really fast, and each one does a popping power to the Moab. And that's the best way to explain that. I think, you know what, in the future I might go through and try and explain that stuff in a video or something like that for you guys. Uh, hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Anyways, level 85 here. Oh my goodness gracious, we got Zoma Gods up the wazoo. Are we going to be able to take them down? I sure hope so, because we got tons of crap all over the place. And it looks like we are going to be able to take them down. Zoma Gods taken down, and that's all we're going to have for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.
Hey there guys, I'm Super John Bamboo, also known as Chris. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the videos. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, or favorite any of them that you want to. Also, we've got a bunch of other cool videos here if you want to check them out. We got just a random video. We got Bloons Monkey City. Or if you want to check out Random Not Series, those are personally my favorite videos to make. Also, we got a new channel here called Super Science. So if you haven't checked out any of my science videos and you just want to learn something, go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a super duper delicious day.